Join me in painting four cute dogs, one for each season. For spring, we have the Australian Shepherd. During the sketch phase, I hadn't fully decided what dog I wanted to paint, so in all honesty, these first ones look a bit more like a golden retriever. And sometimes, when I start an image, I have an idea of exactly what I want to paint, but other times, like this one, I might have a vague idea of topic, but that's it. I find that both approaches are really nice, because both allow me to explore art in different ways. Having a good idea of what I'm wanting to paint means I sometimes skip part of the sketching phase, especially if my idea is very clear. But having an idea that is just the topic allows me to explore more ideas, more poses and more combinations and so on. These things can really help trigger more ideas and make me try out things I wouldn't have thought of if I had a set idea in the beginning. For summer, we have the Brittany Spaniel. Sometimes when exploring different breeds, it takes me a little while to hone in on what is special about that specific breed. As in, what it looks like, how it stands, how it sits, walks and so on. And I'd like to point out that drawing and painting isn't just about the act of creating, but it's also about observation. When trying to create a specific animal, person or thing, it's very important to use observational skills to see what is special about the character of what you're trying to capture. So you look to figure out proportions, shapes, where shadows and light lands and so on. I know I say that I use references a lot and I say that because it's true and I want you to know that there is no shame in using them. There are very few people who know exactly what a person, specific animal or place looks like and is able to paint that from memory. This is why I always recommend artists to use references, but to use them wisely. You don't need to follow the references blindly, but make changes to work with your style. The dog featured in autumn is the Borzoi. Sometimes while sketching, I get lucky, as I feel I captured the gist of my idea with the first try, and that's exactly what happened here. And this again is where observational skill comes in. While I was looking at multiple references, I felt the shape was right, the simplification was right, and it just seemed like I captured the breed just like I wanted to. Therefore, instead of continuing to create more sketches, I decided to go ahead and get stuck into the painting. While each season naturally have a different background and colour palette, I still did my best to make sure that the colour palettes were as consistent as possible. Of course, a consistent colour palette doesn't mean you need to use the exact same colours for a series. And in this case, it was more about keeping them in a similar kind of tone. But of course, I was also reusing colours where I could, which is a really good trick when it comes to creating consistency across images in a series. And finally for winter, we have the Shiba Inu. In some cases, like with the Shiba Inu, I actually didn't look at as many references as I probably should have. This is because I've painted this breed previously, and therefore I felt more confident that I would get it right. I also felt I got a good handle on the pose and the likeness really quickly, which again is sometimes down to luck. While the other three dogs all feature the same brown colour, 
the brown used for the Shiba Inu wasn't a newly picked colour. In fact, it was used on some of the fallen foliage of the Bozoi. And there's something I wish I'd done differently, and that is to have planned out all four images at the same time. That way, I could have planned the colourways better and made sure that there could have been a better consistency throughout. But overall, I am quite pleased with how this series turned out, so I don't think I can complain that much. If you have any questions about my process, feel free to ask them in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer them there or mention them in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. More process videos are up on my YouTube channel and you can find more of my work on my website and on social media.